Well, the last showdown I did had mixed results as I expected, but many of you enjoyed it and requested another showdown with various matchups. Jason vs. Michael was out there, but in the end I went with two that I was sure would never be on the big screen together ever. So why not throw them together in an HMRG showdown? The two series are major success stories attributed to Clive Barker and John Carpenter. Each series has some serious moments that made an impact on film. More so is the case with Halloween paving the way for the 80s being heavily populated with the slasher genre. And both series had their share of stinkers too. If I had to pick the worst from each series, Resurrection would place first for the Halloween camp and Deader for the Hellraiser series. Should have been called Dudder. Both series are slashers, but their lead villains offer completely different appeals throughout the ridiculous amount of sequels that they've pumped out. I mean seriously, what are there, like 21 between them including the zombie films? But just wanted to mention a few things before we begin the brawl. One is that it's tough to put them together accurately because they're so opposite. I mean, right off the bat, Michael doesn't talk, and Pinhead, well, his chilling lines make the movie. Mike can't die, and Pinhead is in hell, or at least some dimension made by Leviathan or however it goes. So things like that make it tough, but I'd like to say that I also love these two characters, and my favorite is Michael. But I had to come up with something and I came up with 8 categories, so let's take a look at these two heavyweights. In this corner, standing 6 foot 2, not including the zombie films, and roughly 200 pounds, Michael Myers. And in the other imaginary corner in this odd video, standing 6 feet, weighing, I don't know, 165 pounds, maybe a few extra ounces for the pins, Pinhead. Let the showdown begin. Weapons. Michael is famous for one thing, the kitchen knife. Not that he can't be handy with other things, but from an early age, Michael is partial to the kitchen knife. Maybe he finds a sense of security in it, who knows. He also uses his hands from time to time, strong like bull. Pinhead is a different story though. He's got the chains that come out of the black, that's creepy enough, but he really tears people apart worse than anything Mike does. He's also got evil powers, almost like telekinesis. Remember the club scene in part 3? Another angle to mention is that he can completely mess with your mind. Score 1, Pinhead. Toughness. Myers has taken so many beatings it's unbelievable. He takes almost as much abuse as Jason does. Maybe that'll be a future showdown. But the point is, Myers keeps coming back. Pinhead is no doubt tough. When he's around, that is. But he needs to be brought back by someone, and Myers just brushes himself off and keeps coming after his family. He's a very highly motivated person, you know. Score 1, Myers. Lethality. And honestly, I've never even checked if that's a word, but who cares, let's see. Michael does get a lot of his pursuits, but a lot do get away. Maybe he doesn't try as hard for non-family members. Hey, he's got priorities after all. Pinhead though, well, unless he's making a bargain with you, you're seriously toast. Score one Pinhead. Strength. Well, Myers certainly has some serious power, but in all honesty, Pinhead wields just way too much power. Score one Pinhead. Intimidation. Myers has his iconic mask, my favorite being the original Shatner mold. It's changed a little over the years, some I liked and some were a little silly. Pinhead on the other hand, wow, I mean, he's got pins in his head. Between the two of them, I think I'd rather face Myers. Score 1 Pinhead. Stealth. Myers is known as the Shape, a quiet figure in the shadows with only a silhouette of the menacing Michael. Pinhead generally makes quite an entrance, starting with the lights appearing and then it goes on from there. But I think something can be said about the subtlety of the box. Still, score one Myers. Kills, and I mean in terms of numbers. Pinhead has killed many, like again in the club scene in part 3, but the movie tends to center around an individual, whereas in Halloween, although a family member is the target, there tends to be a group in opposition. Myers generally mows them down before his final conflict. Score 1 Myers. Brutality. This category is a personal favorite of mine. Myers, I can think of two brutal ones that stick out and both are in part 6. Jamie Lloyd comes to a quick end in a brutal way, which I never understood how they could just offer characters so quickly, and Mr. Strode in the basement. But Pinhead time after time makes Mike's kills look like a PG-13 movie. Interesting fact. No blood was shed in the original Halloween, at least not in the on-screen kills. There's a dude laying dead at the side of the road, but never mind. Score one pinhead. 
Winner, Pinhead. Score, 5-3 to three over Myers. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Halloween and watch it any day. And in the context of their respective franchises, I would say Myers is the bigger threat. But in the categories I came up with, Pinhead is the clear victor. But hey, maybe there'll be a rematch. This was HMRG. Thanks for watching.